And we're playing a World War One mod, the Great War Redux, uh, actually updated mod about World War One. Apparently, I never Tommy played this, which makes no Tommy sense to me. Tommy, play the Ottomans, please. Send me, please, please. Ah, uh, man, I would like to play Germany, obviously, but I have a weird feeling I'm just gonna wreck everyone. Play young Abdul Aziz. <laughs> Saud bin Abdul. <laughs> that's young Abdul Aziz. Abdul Aziz. Nee, that's Abdul. That's young Abdul Aziz, actually. I'm playing. Germany on veteran. Uh, yeah, let's have an historical Germany game. I, I, I'm generally sure I never played this before. I'm quite excited. 1910. I hope the storyline is cool. Like, it actually leads to World War II. Like, with the shooting of the Austrian general staff. Almost the Herleitung. OHL is the highest echelon of command of the German army. The influence of staff is so great that it can become a dangerous political force in the country. And the naval arms race. More dreadnoughts and bigger guns. I remember this from uh, history class. That they tried very hard to have a navy like the UK. But it did not go well, man. There's a Zeppelin? Where? Oh, there's a Zeppelin. What does a Zeppelin do? Oh, Kirov meldet sich. They even have a... How did no one ever tell me about this mod? Huh? Hmm get the basic artillery bonus first pre-war artillery can get more howitzers what's the difference between howitzer 2 and like artillery 2 so 15 soft attack oh 36 soft attack but less defense i don't know howitzers are hard to build but they are fucking boomy booming if you know what i mean man Meine Herren. How bitzen? cool we have colonies this is kind of what happens when you finish uh victoria Victoria free. I even have this shit. Learning German history here, man. I'm telling you. Okay, that is a nice focus tree. What the fuck is this Japanese shit? How did I never play this Just before, man? Are you kidding me? Weltpolitik. You must... I also like that there's not an ultra mega text here. I like this mod, bro. Why didn't no one ever tell me? I'm predicting it's gonna be too easy. And then I'm gonna play something harder like Italy or maybe the Ottomans. The Great War. The Great War will globally change the fate of nations around the world. If faction leaders surrender, the winners must decide what conditions. Victorious factions will get claimed states and... Oh, this is like claiming, like in Wiki. Offer surrender to your taunt. Schlieffen Moltke plan. Uh, fan Prussian militarism. I get 20 war support. And Prussian militarism. Plus 50% orc, Alter. Allows the deployment of Landsturm divisions made up of light infantry and a support company. I want to do my own, though. Restoration of the Holy Roman Empire? Ottoman Empire wants to purchase pre-dreadnoughts. Yes. Fuck, Alter. Rise of evil. Wait, I can't become... I can't become Nazi? <laughs> Chancellor Hitler. Dude, you can't be Nazi. These focus trees are amazing. How did no one ever told me about this? Dude, the HRE touches me, guys. HRE touches me. Have France as a subject. Man, if this mod would be a bit more stable for multiplayer roleplay, fuck yeah. OHL authority. My general staff gets stronger, but my PP gets a big hit, actually. That's a very basic start. Tommy enters 40 vs. man. Feldmarschall Schliefen. Paul von Hindenburg. Albrecht von Württemberg. Ruprecht von Bayern. Wait, I think my baby is crying. Uh, Herr Schliefen seems the best. He has the best attack. War hero. Brilliant strategist. Old guard. Uh, I already know the fucking YouTube comments. How Tommy is a German and he does not understand his own country. Ah, that's that guy that later looks like a fuck. Like, if you go Civil War in Hoi 4 normal, this is the guy that takes over the Junta. Ah, shit, I gotta fuck with Austria. Austria is more of a burden than an ally. Their national fragmentation and weak armed forces means they are constantly coming to us for help. If we abandon them, perhaps we can seek for more powerful allies. And they are gonna be sent for some basic exercise at the Austrian border. Very, very, very basic exercise. Ah, I the 40 whiffs already. Holy crap, man. That's pretty... That's... German Empire and Austria-Hungary break the alliance. Germany refused to extend a military alliance with the Austro-Hungarian Empire due to the growing contradiction between Italy and Austria-Hungary. The triple alliance is on the verge of collapse. However, German diplomats still have hope for cooperation with Italy as there are no confrontations between them. Did Germany just find a new enemy? <gasps> Ooh, no, no, you. Mm. I select the Adriatic Sea. Oh, I'm really fucking him. I'm giving him 10 consumer goods. If we impose a blockade on Austria and the Adriatic Sea, we can severely cripple their economy. I mean, they're massively getting crippled. He gets 10 fucking consumer goods. Kingdom of Italy accepts invitation to Central Powers. Italy, welcome. Nikolai sends us a letter. Nico, Nico. Russian head of state Nikolai II sent a handwritten letter to Wilhelm II. The letter said, With my regards, I am concerned about the Russian foreign policy and I'm willing to cooperate with German Empire in future and actively support German right to colonize. Good to see you, my friend. Suck my dick. Let's do non aggression pact for now. For now. For now, I do non aggression pact with you, Nikolai. If we support their claims on Transylvania, Romania may be enticed to join our faction. Ooh. That's a beard. 
Ion IC Bratianu. Alter, look at that beard. Conflict in Gilan. Russia invaded Gilan. Persia does not intend to retreat. Basic Russian culture invading uh, helpless countries. Oh no! Fucking kid! Underage monarch. Oh shit, I can actually trigger the war. Austria Hungary is merely a construct of territories that rightfully belong to other nations. We must end this for the sake of us and our brothers. Let's fucking do this. Don't call allies yet. And let's have fun. Let's have fun. Easy, brothers. No stress. We'll even go uh, low attack mode and see what happens. And we have a nice first offensive. The encirclement of this area will be very much in my interest. After Kurdish states were gonna be completely fucking done. Cutting off their shit. I'm not calling Italy. It's all mine. And yeah, it looks like we're just wrecking them. Again. The, the problem with mods like this is, these mods are sick, but they're way too fucking easy. Even on high difficulty. I'm literally annihilating Austria without really trying hard. And that's where I think, for example, um, Bosnian Revolution. Oh, yeah, yeah. United States sends a note of protest. Is that the famous sanctions everyone talks about? They never do anything? Oh, cool. There's no mobile warfare, but uh, this is kind of mobile warfare. No, this is a breakthrough warfare and more entrenchment. Ah, cool. They made their own uh, little army doctrine for this. Serbia wants to push back. Let's, let's clear the encirclement before we go into other stuff. Damn, the Bosnian revolution is doing nice, but food, I want to take everything. You guys don't believe. No, I will take Austria, not you. Fuck that. You ain't taking jack shit, man. Oh, oh, he killed Bosnia. Okay, no more problems with Bosnia. That's good. The dissolution of the Austrian Empire and the establishment of Greater Germany. Austria Hungary succumbing to. I can't read that. Is disbanded according to terms of the treaty. The region of Austria became the Kingdom of Austria and the German Empire, with only the King of Hungary remaining under the Habsburgs. And with this, the Austrian Empire ceases to exist. We have acquired the entire Austrian region. The Austro Hungarian Empire sent conditional surrender terms. They will transfer all other regions to the victorious countries instead of preserving the Kingdom of Hungary, the last bastions of the Habsburg. Oh shit, here we go. I like peace deals like this. I like peace deals like this, because they're so clean you know that was nice let's have a parade in berlin <laughs> austria is german i agree therefore it belongs to the kaiserreich we will unite once more even for force uh, what the fuck they even have them flying around bro that's so cool oh look he's <laughs> dude 10 out of 10 mod man i'm, I'm dead serious it's the ass for the transfer of tyrol and istria we are obligated to return these territories under agreement that we concluded with the, the brothers of war Ah, you kind of have to do it, otherwise you lose stability. Sure, yeah, Italy, okay, okay. At least I don't have to put police on ever. Oh, Italy and Ottomans war. Tregazione Bohemia. The next war goal in the Czech Republic. They have no friends, I can just do that. The world tension though. You think they might actually fucking guarantee? That will make the game balance if they start guaranteeing. I, ho I actually almost hope they get guaranteed. And no one guaranteed them. Oh, nice, nice! I'm so happy, developers. Yes, I'm gonna... finally, nice. I love, I love that they're guaranteed. Okay, that war is not gonna happen right now. I'm gonna retreat, but I don't lose the war goal. Germany expands the sphere into Switzerland. I'm interested. What is that? Oh, I pressured him to be. Oh, he became a puppet instantly. You probably don't. Ah, you actually have agencies. Abteilung 3B. Is that the historical right, real one? Yeah. Okay. Roosevelt survives assassination attempt. Teddy Roosevelt! I know nothing about that guy. But did you know he once gave a speech with a bullet in his chest? Unlocks the decision to form Middle Africa. I gain claims on a lot of shit, which probably belongs to France. Ah, this is gonna escalate the whole situation. Man, this makes me kind of want to play Vicky Free again. I think the point with Vicky Free is Vicky Free is very good if you play uh, majors. Minors are fucking trash. Oh, Schlieffen died. Oh, my fucking field marshal died. Oh, shit. Rip, bro. Paul! Paulchen! Paulchen Panzer! Ich bin noch Paul, Alter. Und ich werde später Deutschland an Hitler verraten. Und dann geht alles nach unten. Berlin Baghdad Railway. Sure, man. Ottoman. That's. I mean, you guys are kind of dying, but you have time for railway. Berlin Baghdad crisis. <laughs> Instantly the follow up, man. Britain is making demands on our companies. They're not happy that we're building a railway. Fuck you. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, bitch? Fucking try me. We're gonna protect the shores against these British people. Don't worry, Kaiser. I got you covered. I am going. And your leader will be the great. Call from Eminem. My name is Eminem and I like to rap. I would like to go to war, but everything's guaranteed, man. Everything guaranteed. At least I don't have a Russian front line. Zapatista, Mexico. Isn't that like some wrestler? Dave Zapatista? Hey, that's the wrestlers rising up. Oh, shit. That guy looks like a from a uh, Wild Wild West movie. How does France look so weird? That is France how it looked back then, man. When Elders Lorraine was still... <gasps> was still with us! Was still with us, man! <sighs> I'm not celebrating that, Twitch admin. It's good for friends with uh, Russia, man. They will totally... Actually fighting all of this and Russia? Ooh, man. And as they say in Old Quite Western Front, there's 250,000 Americans landing every month. 
This bar is over, Heinz. Okay, cool question. Oh, there's a new question. If you had to lead a ministry of your country's government, what minist ministry would you like to lead? <laughs> defense, yeah, obviously the Hoi4 chat. Defense, defense, I would be. I have 3,000 hours in Hoi4. I think my final answer would also be defense. I know it's a basic Hoi4 answer, but dude, I would like to be the minister of defense. And I put on this fucking jacket and I go to all the barracks and I'm like, Assistacia! We send you the house! Machen Sie das sauber! Wir sind die Deutsche Armee und wir müssen wieder repräsentieren, wer wir sind in dieser Welt. Vor allem, dass der Russe wieder am Osten an unseren Grenzen steht. So, if we invade Bohemia, quick Blitzkrieg, bam, kick him out, then massive war against France. Do they have actually... Uh, they have no forts, we could break through management. How many... Is there no airport here? Wait, wait. Oh, that needs fixing. That needs fixing. I ain't doing no fucking World War before that. King of Italy declared one front. Oh shit! World War One trigger. Oh, I need to go to war. Oh, we need to mobilize. That this one has been actually a blast. I, I'm having a lot of fun here. I can see myself playing this mod a bit more. Crazy, no one talked me about this mod. Let's mobilize, and then tomorrow we talk about this. I think a curse should rest on me because I love this war. I know it's smashing and shattering the lives of thousands every moment, and yet I can't help it. I enjoy every sec. What the fuck, Winston Churchill? What fuck's your problem, dude? What kind of fucking statement is that? Jesus, Ludendorff offensive. War situation is getting increasingly unfavorable. Fuck off. Not not true. Until winter arrives. Whoa. Hey, this is fucking... This mod is so sick. Uh, currently, our country is engaged in a great war and manpower to become self-sufficient and food has also put on... I hope that in Hearts of Iron 5, you have, like, food. You have, like, basic uh, supply for the army. Like, you need to make food or something to support... Uh, the army with men. Okay, get ready. I don't have any cast yet. This is just air support, right? Yeah. Okay. Don't I have uh, Baron von Richthofen? The Red Baron? Manfred Red Baron von Richthofen, Alter. Plus 10 air attack. This guy's insane, Alter. And here we go. German invasion of Belgium. Today's summary. German demands from Belgian facilities for invading France. Belgium refuses. German troops march on the Belgian near Leash. Martial law proclaimed Belgium. Germany makes the worthless promise not to seize the Belgian and Dutch coastline to attack France in the north. Germany asks Great Britain to remain neutral. <laughs> can you can you please stay neutral, motherfucker? Okay, it's up an attack. Not over the river, though. Quick kill of Luxembourg, and then I need this to fall, man. Let's have fun. Means I need to switch air. Let's switch 400. Nice, let's have fun. Wait, I'm at wolf. I, I, oh, I, I'm friends with Russia. Oh, Russia's on my side, man. Because we guaranteed... Wait, Hungary declared war on me. Oh, shit. Well, good thing I have a third army ready. Fucking hell. Good thing I made a third army, man. But this, this is going to be harder now. And Russia joins the Central Powers for now. For now. Okay. Third army on its way. Boys are arriving. Could even put them on attack so they just... Uh, Keep talking about it, but the Russians should wreck this. The problem is there's so many good mods in, in, in Hot's Fire, but the problem is most of them are way too easy, man. Even playing on high difficulty here. Let's see. But look, it's already open, man. No one is stopping me. This is a little bit concerning. This might be too easy. I'm a bit afraid of that. That's such a problem with all these mods. They're amazing, but too easy. And two things to fix that is um, play weaker nations, make the difficulty higher. That's the two things. And um, and that's why I have so much respect for uh, Kaiserreich. I think Kaiserreich is by far the most balanced mod. It's actually really hard. One of my bad, uh, my best content was in that mod, right? I can literally just walk into Paris. And that's, you know, that's the problem, chat. Unfortunately. Well, now France is coming. Maybe he can actually stop me a bit. That would be quite nice. I would like that. If they can stop me a bit. Let's let's kick out the Belgians. Let's kick out the Belgians, I think. Fall of Brussels. We should have the capitulation of... Belgium here in a sec, which makes me focus on France and gives me more supply. What do we have here? Okay, the fall of Brussels should be happening. This should be the end of Belgium. What's up? Beautiful. Kick them out of the war. Failure to complete this mission will impose a fatal national idea. I need to finish this before the war is coming. Ah, they're sending a lot of units now. I gotta use these openings in the north. Like, take Lille. Don't even let them recover. Take it quickly. I'm even gonna make a pushing demand here. I want them to push green air though. Did I unlock a cast yet? And there's no airports anywhere. I'm even gonna tell them to aggressively attack. Right now, North France is open. We cannot be weak on this. You can see how entrenched they are. This is actually trench warfare. Nice, man. This is actually hard. I like it. I can't reach uh, the UK, though. Beautiful opening in here. This could work. They have to attack. stop attacking, though, so we attack over the river. Beautiful. Now it's an attack oh, over the river. It's an attack over the river. And there's a bunch of units being useless here, so let's make the red guys take care of this. Trying to really, really work on the supply. Let's repair, 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 supply, supply, supply. We all learned from Roberti Gilliman. Supply is everything. If I do this break for a minute, it's over. That's the mod let you build trenches. Like I just said, the way the developer did that, apparently, that's what I heard. I don't know if it's the truth. Is oh, that the developer up. made the, the mathematical bonus of entrenchment higher in this mod, which is the trench warfare. Okay. And I can just end the war here right now. 
in Croatia. Put him just go to Budapest. Croatia down, beautiful. Sometimes I wish, uh, as I was looking at, uh, or quite Western Front, a cool gimmick in like Hearts of Fire and Five or something could be a surrender mechanic. If you get encircled like this, it would be cool if they could just surrender or something and then become prisoners of war. And then later, if Hungary actually kills Germany, you get your prisoners of war back, aka you get an influx of manpower. Uh, I'm using a unit, which is actually not what I need want right now. Ooh, no, 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 no. How about we don't lose a unit? How about we don't lose a unit? Maxen? Maxen defends the man. How about we don't lose a unit? How about that? How about we don't lose a unit, huh? Okay, we might be getting there. Yeah, yeah, I'm fixing it. Nice, okay, we saved him. Saving private hunts. Beautiful, okay. Welcome back. From Russians. I broke through, I broke through. Okay. This could be pretty big. Oh, this could be a big one. This could be a big one. Probably want to keep Calais pinned. Italy starting to break. Ah, Kaiser right. Army should to go to Italy. You're right. You're correct, sir. I could actually still call um, Switzerland as a last resort. Okay. Wait, they actually just arrived and can instantly encircle. Oh, we can instantly encircle. Man, this is actually an interesting war. This mod is not too easy. You should play on veteran, though, I think. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, they're going to defend that. Pin too long. Let's get some orc, and then there's the weakness. The problem is I need a supply depot, and there's none of them. I need to take Calais, man. The Calais encirclement needs to happen. We're going to uh, relieve the purple army a bit with a new front line. Open this front line. Uh, okay, French high command uh, drank way too much fucking cheese vodka. Cheese vodka? That's a weird thing to say. And I would like some probing attacks right here. Actually taking back in Nice. And there's the encirclement. Okay, French high command. What the fuck was that, man? What about Ottomans? What about them? I'm at war of the Ottomans. Oh, shit. Well, Russia should have this. It's gonna be an interesting peace conference. Oh, I'm through. I'm actually through an army in. And we are marching to Paris, man. Slowly making our encirclement of Paris here. And this coming. Slowly making our encirclement of Paris here. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. We need some boots here. Some boots into that. The British 73rd is holding Paris. Paris almost falling here. Air is beautiful. I'm gonna att stop attacking Italy. Why die for Italy? If we have Paris, this is over anyway. Paris holding strong. They tried very hard to hold it. Finish the encirclement. Paris fallen. I wonder what event happens. Fall of Paris, man. The streets of Paris have been almost cleared of civilians and it's eerily silent. A few only those too old or ill to, or stubborn to clear out have come out of their homes and shops to see thousands upon thousands of German soldiers marching through the heart of France. Only decades after the fall of Paris and the Franco-Prussian War, onlookers are horrified to see that France has failed yet again. Paris has fallen, with the German flag proudly raving over the fallen nation. We can stabilize the front line a bit now. Paris done, they probably take a lot of moral damage. And I want just probing attacks with this guy. Oh, here we go. René Viviani asks for peace. After losing control of the front, France is no longer able to fight Funny against the German Empire. Uh, in order to avoid the spread of war and devastation into the country, the command of the French army decided to request a truce. I want to do that. Entente surrenders. The Entente powers have lost control of their front lines and have requested an armistice from the central powers. This effectively means that the central powers have proven victorious over the Entente. With so many lives lost. Oh, how many? How many Germans died? 61. That was not really a real World War One. Huh? Uh, they should have had me. <clears throat> The political geography of the globe will change forever. This marks the era of Germany's political golden age. Dude, imagine they would have won World War I at all. Well, Kaiserreich does that. As the nation proves to be the single most powerful country in the world, along with her allies, may the death rest in peace. What's gonna happen? People are still dying, just like in the movie, bro. This is like we're playing the movie right now. German descent powers are victorious. France and her allies will have to pay prices demanded by the victors. Oh, there's now events for... Oh, shit. Ludwig von Falkenhausen. KDGVB. Alto. No more war. War goal on Poland. Czech Republic. Oh, it's still guaranteed by France, though. Well, there's going to be events now. Well, let's have a fucking a party in Berlin. I really think this could be Hoi 5 one day. They even talked about this, right? Having World War 1 into World War 2. This could be Hoi 5 one day. Territorial reparation. Kenya awaits. Oh, I got some shit here. Fuck, man. This is literally Kaiser right now. North Elsass Lorraine. Ah, okay. Well, I guess I got this shit, yeah. I also like how this mod, um, there's no peace deal. Everything is um, scripted. I love that. I love scripted pieces. Because peace deals are so dumb in this game. Especially with the new update. Italy requested Jubaland. The Italian ambassador wants Jubaland. Germany refuses. <laughs> you didn't do shit in the war, Italy. You literally lost. You, didn't, you ain't getting fucking jack shit, man. What are you going to do about it? Oh, they're getting communists now. They're mad. Oh, army restriction, armistice. Oh, shit. Oh, we made them very mad. Destroying the government. No factory output. Guarantees are taken right. in the Amastis. We're gonna take them down real quick. Installing a great German union here. Let's go. Poor veterans. They were just in a world war. Now they have to go here. Ah, man. Ah, during the Amastis, you can't... Ah, 
Ah, that's really cool. I like that. Sure, man. Copenhagen Convention. After the end of the Great War, military alliances or oh, post war economy. We can do. Dude, there is more content after the war. Chat, can you tell me? Is this mod having more content after you win the war? It looks like it. There's content until 1920s. Damn, this is amazing. And it becomes as a for Middle Africa. France announces the army restriction. <gasps> They're mad. The Navy Yanni longer fulfills the terms of his armistice. One month after the end of World War One, he already is taking back the Rhineland. What the fuck? He just turned that off? If you actually lose as Germany, you can make uh, Hitler rise or communism rise. I think. Restoration of the Holy Roman Empire, man. He even has research till 19 yeah, 1920s. You can pull it to 1920. This is super ahead of time. Look how ahead of time this is. Man. Oh, wait. I oh, shit. I have actually the Indies. I do. Oh, something. Apparently, there's a lot of content in China. Man, I would love to play Japan. Chat, I, wow, Japan is so weak. I love that. I love that. Chat, we're going to spend a lot of streams in this mod. I just found a beautiful mod here. I love this mod. Can't wait to play more. So, man, a Bitcoin 4 on a new engine, man. Better map and stuff. Ay, yeah, yeah, that's sick, dude. That is very sick. I declare war on France instantly. Ooh. I mean, I'm going to wreck them in a second. Poor guys, they just have been beaten and then the HRE thinks like, yeah, I'm coming. The treaty was signed by Germany and you are not Germany, so... <laughs> Do I still have peace deal? Yeah, I still have the peace deal though. With the unification of Greater Germany and restoration of the Holy Roman Empire, there's even events for HRE, dude. Oh, you get... Oh, this kind of means this is like democratic, this is authoritarian. Regensburg will actually be good for the Emperor. Keep Berlin? Berlin is actually not so... Oh, actually, it's very good for me. Berlin is very good for me. Yeah. Flanders Wallonia gets five... Fla what, Elder? Oh, I made Flanders Wallonia with my son. This is my son. I wonder if I get... Uh, turn the HRE pink. I'm going to jump out of my window one day. <laughs> ah, man. This is a great mod, dude. This is an amazing mod, man. Would you have sex with men if you were a girl? Probably. I would like to try that out. Probably. Yeah. I'm a human being that's really interested in human experiences, man. And if I was a girl for one day, I will look for someone that will really dick me down. You know, the big question is not, if you were a girl for a day, would you get fucked by a man? That's not the real question. The real question is, who will you choose to fuck you? Because I wouldn't take none of you fucking weirdos, man. I think I wouldn't even get, I wouldn't even want to get fucked by myself. I think I would want Henry Cavill or Tom Hardy to fuck me. I think Henry Cavill, man, he does you very good, man. You feel very good afterwards, I think. Yeah, I think I'm easily taking France here. I need to call him real quick. Okay, let's just take him down real quick so I can just make... This is literally... I mean, they can't really do anything, man. Let's finish this quickly and make Burgundy. Poor French aid. They're getting really fucked, man. They're getting kind of... Pressure through virginity is real. I remember, yeah. I remember when I had my first time sex, one of my first thoughts, my, my, one of my biggest thoughts was literally just, oh, finally I have that out of the way. You know, I was like, oh, I have it out of the way. And very nice, man. Shit, this is the new peace deals. I hate them so much, man. I don't think anyone can stop me anymore, though. But this mod is going to be really fun to play harder nations in. Denmark, what say you? And Sweden, I demand your submission immediately. Motherfuckers all defined. Oh shit, man. World War Scandinavia is coming. I really enjoyed the roleplay game yesterday. I want to really... If I could, man, this is literally Kaiserreich, man. What the fuck? Damn, E.T. is back. And let's have fun. Take them down quick. Invading. Not invading. Are they at Wyatt? Okay, why? Why? Every time it just happens to me, I feel like I don't even care. Like, I'm like, okay, whatever. Let's just walk through Denmark. I'm too fucking... I'm too lazy to understand why this isn't working, man. I'm too lazy to understand that. Right. Middleborough. Playing Warhammer, man. Number one. Oh, it Weiter. is truly unbelievable. Let's finish this. Oh, Chat Islands. Ah, I roasted. So funny. Subscribe. Sweden, you know you have to kind of defend yourself, right? That's like the thing people do. This fucking ginger, I swear to God. I text him on Discord all the time. He never fucking takes my advice. I can't fucking believe it. The United States wants to buy the Virgin Islands. What a cool event. Sure. Sure, man. I don't even know where the Virgin Islands are. Probably non subs know. You cannot take the checks. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Man, man. Make a puppet here, obviously. Nice little puppet. Nice war. Beautiful. Czech Republic going down. Oh. There is no British Empire. <laughs> what British Empire? Excuse me? Uh huh. Okay, we have an Italy war now. Let's just take the checks down real quick. Looks like Japan really isn't the thing yet. Ottomans have a Turan path. Well, guys, just. 34 more subs, and you choose what the next nation is. Sorry for signing out, but I kind of know. You know, pay the bills, man, you know?
Good shit, good shit. Man, fuck. Pretty fucking OP here, man. Holy moly. Three, two, one. Has no friends. Bam. Take him down. Make the HRE. Unfortunately, gets too easy in the end, but that's how always this works. And he has no friends. I mean, in a world like this, Germany is obviously just untouchable, right? They're literally way too fucking OP. And this modern multiplayer, my god. Holy shit, would that be fucking mental. There's actually one guy that thinks I'm serious. Right. What, what kind of lumber do you want? Come on, man. Don't be... Nein! Hurensohn! Dicker, who is this? Sweden is my puppet! How can Sweden demand anything? This fucking game, bro. Wait, now I have it all. Oh, shit. It kind of worked. Well, I think I want to call it you, man. This has been really, really fun. Uh, I think we're just uh, unbeatable now. This has been very, very, very fun, though, man. I really enjoyed this.